Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel ML4 Analytics. I am Jyoti and today I will be telling you how to do multiple text search in a column having multiple strings using search, find and switch functions of DAX and how to include it as a new calculated column. So this will be a part of uh, our series DAX hacks. So let's get started. So guys, in this particular case, I have added uh, a column which is having around four values and it's having SEM1 uh, and physics, SEM2 math, SEM3 control system, SEM2 uh, physics. So this is basically an example case which uh, is kind of generated by me over here. I went to enter data over here and typed in the column name as subject sinister and then typed in the values over here and renamed this table as demo table. And then I clicked on load and this table got loaded. So cool thing uh, so far. So now I will be, what I'll be doing is I will be actually uh, extracting the subjects which are written over here and I will be creating a new column over here, new calculated column which is going to have these four, uh, I mean uh, these subjects uh, in it. So it, let's do it. Now I'm going to right click uh, on demo table and I'm going to include a new column over here. So cool thing, I'm going to rename this or name this as subject and now I will be using the switch function of DAX in order to achieve it. So I will be writing a, a switch over here and it is telling me that it returns different results depending on the value of an expression. So now when I will be including switch, it's, uh, it's asking me for an expression. So generally you give any kind of expression over here in this case, I'm just going to write true over here because I want this to be run kind of as loop for this uh, column, right? So now that is kind of done. Now it is asking me for first value, okay? So it's asking me uh, what, what is going to be the first value that I'm going to include in this case. So I will write over here search and now it is asking me uh, to find the text, right? Now in find text, I will be first of all writing physics, right? And then within text, now it is asking me, you want to search physics, search for physics in what text, right? So I will be giving the column name over here, which is subject matter in this case. The start position is going to be one, right? Because now it's going to actually traverse from the start of this string and it's going to kind of run as a loop or you can say it is going to iterate on each uh, each row of subject semester column and then actually uh, this uh, it is going to search for it so this expression is going to be run in that way now if if this value physics is not found uh, in in a particular value in a particular cell then what to return? I want to return zero in this case, right? Now, zero is going to, is search basically returns the position, the starting position of the string that you have mentioned over here. So suppose physics is found, then obviously the value that it is going to return is going to be greater than zero, right? Because then the starting position for P in this sem1 dash physics is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the starting position is going to be 9. And if physics is not there, then obviously it's going to return 0 for me. So I'm going to type if the search value comes out to be greater than 0, then it is asking me to uh, provide the result if this, this particular search comes out to be uh, true. I mean, this particular, uh, you can say, value, value one comes out to be true, then what to return? Then 
in that case because I want to extract the subject I want physics to be returned in this case right then again comma then it's guiding me to write value 2 so value 2 is going to be mathematics for my case so I'm actually going to kind of click uh, uh, I mean uh, type control plus C and then I am going to write maths over here right so again it's going to be maths and again one more subject is left in this case which is control systems so I am going to write control systems over here right so over here I am going to write control systems right and now as you can see the end result you can write as many value result pairs as you want but the end of this switch function is the else statement so if nothing is found or uh, suppose uh, physics maths control system all of them are not found in uh, in these strings then what to return then i want unknown to be returned unknown subject to be returned in that case right so this is how this will be carried out and when I click on uh, enter, then it returns the subjects for me. It works perfectly fine, right? Now I just want to show you what the search is going to be doing in this particular case. So suppose I just copy this over here, right? And I again create a new column. This, uh, I'm doing this just to let you know about the working of search, right? So the name i will be giving to this column will be physics because it will be searching for physics in the subject semester column and if i click on enter then you can see it returns nine only on those places where physics can be found in subject semester in case of other subjects it's going to return zero for me right the same thing uh, like if you if you kind of replace this physics with maths over here and you rename this column as maths over here then what it is going to do it is going to give nine in case maths is there maths is found in the search results so this is how search is functioning right now uh now there's one more column uh, one more uh, dax function which is going to achieve the same result and that is the find function so suppose i i'm going i'm going to create one more column and i kind of rename it as physics find right and i will be using find in this case now it's again asking me to type in the find text so it's going to be physics within text is going to be subject semester again and starting position is going to be again one and not found value is going to be again zero so doing that is again going to give me the same result as as search was giving me now if i change the starting position over here from one to say nine then what it is going to do is it is going to give me the same result right so uh, this is what i wanted to show you so suppose you type in like two in this case in that case also it is giving you the same result because in this particular string the starting position for this physics is at the ninth position right so that is why it is going to give me the same thing so this, uh, in, in this case, um, sorry, in this case, I, if I navigate to subject, if I kind of replace search with find, then also it is going to function perfectly fine. I type in find over here, find over here, and find again over here. Then also, if I, I click on enter, it's going to give me the same result. So guys, with this, I conclude this video. I hope you like this tutorial. You found this video informative. If that is so, then 
please like uh, comment uh, share and subscribe to our channel so stay tuned bye bye